Now let's get into the game. We draw out our normal hand. I just need to remember how to play this as well. So we go in with Hexa. He has a hand trap. Also, don't mind, don't mind, don't mind my spot. Effect Veiler. We can activate Speaker for Ice Barrier. We're gonna go into this. And then through Speaker, we can uh, go into our Anemone. We're gonna send that and that to the graveyard. Let's see how we could play off our Effect Veiler. Because right now, he Effect Veiled Hexa, which, which means he knows how to play. But at the end of the day, if I bring Hexa back, do I get to activate his effect? Let's see. Oh no, it's not. I can activate his effect now that it's returned. But we send magic. And we just pop off with our... Uh, da, 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 let's see. What card do we want to add to our hand? Let's get Speaker. Um, gorgeous. Let's get Gorgeous. That's not Speaker. Speaker's in a graveyard. Activate effect. We want to play this. Special summon Speaker from the graveyard. With Gorgeous's effect. We go straight into Lancia from this. So we have Lancia set up. And then through this, we can activate Speaker's effect to get a token. And with that token, I think we will be able to do something. No? Okay. Apparently not. I don't have Link 4 monsters. This isn't a viable board, but this is what we made from our hand. I probably could have played better, but it is what it is. Okay, we're playing Crystal Rose, so Gem Knights. Adamant Scepters. Okay. I mean, why not? Let's see if this works. Because it's not really synchro summoned. Change the battle position of a monster. Yeah, sure. Okay, his effects don't pop off from Lancia, so that's a bad play. Alright, no problem, no problem. This is only the first game. It don't mean much. It's okay. Yes. Wait, let's special summon um, Raiko. Raiho, yeah. Yep. We're gonna go with General Raiho. General Raiho is really good in general. Um, sure, let's just change the battle position of him to zero. If I had a card that dealt piercing damage, that would really boost this deck. Because, like, imagine Lancia, you turn them to defense position, you bring out Reaper, you bring out Raiho, you bring out Gorgeous, and then he can't really do anything. Because every time he needs to um, do something, he's in defense position. I don't know what I'm talking about. We would technically be able to inflict piercing damage. And they won't be able to get a defense position as well, which is obviously good for us. Now, he played Gem Knight Phantom Quartz. He's going to have to... If he's going to activate... Yep, you're going to have to get rid of a card, my guy. Gem Knight Fusion! Uh, I don't think he's... He's got Gem Knight Fusion. He's going to Fusion Summon. But sure, let's just use it because we can. And we wait... And we wait, and we wait. Nero from Devil May Cry with an extra R is making us wait, goddamn. Two hours later. And we're still waiting. And we are still waiting. Nero, hello? Mr. Nero. Nero, Nero chocolate. Oh, there we go. Yep, get rid of one of your cards, please. He got rid of Gem Fusion. Okay, so we must really need the other card. And he's realizing that if he's to activate the next card's effect, <laughs> he's going to have to do the same thing. Okay, who are you bringing on? Who are you bringing on? Let's see. Gem Knight, okay. He has 2,400 attack with no... Uh, that's just about enough to get rid of my Raiho. And I can't even use Lancia's effect. Oh, wait. Um, it's treated as a Synchro Summon, so have fun. Trichula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Activate its effect. Let's get rid of all his cards. Yes. Banish a card from the field. Goodbye. I don't need that. Banish a card from the graveyard. Uh, let's get rid of, I don't know, Gem Knight Fusion. Can you do anything with this? Nope. Okay. Let's just get rid of Gem Knight Fusion. And he has no cards in his hand as well. It's looking like a... It's looking good, man. You're going to have to end turn because you got nothing else to play. I mean, you could go into a tuner if you have a level 5 tuner. You thought you had me there, didn't you? You thought you had me, but you don't know the power of the ice barriers. I need to wait. So that's how you use Lancia. That's that's, that's a... Like, you go into Lancia, if it gets sent to the graveyard, that's when you bring out uh, Zero Dragon. Okay, what's he going with? He's going with another Gem Knight Quartz. He's going to sacrifice... Oh, he can't do that again. I don't know why he just did that. But sure. Yep, and there's the scoop. That is a win. So, because he... After he dies, the special summon is treated as a synchro summon. So, that's how we use the dragon's effects. Not the way I used it earlier. 
Okay, so that's our first win of the day. Let's go into game two. Waiting for opponent. We played rough there. We didn't even play properly. Like, the combos were rough. We got Effect Veiled first turn. We couldn't go into our Coco Pops Dragon. We're going second this time. I think he's playing Cyber and Dragon. Um, or Cyber Dragons, like Dark Cybers. What makes you think that guy? I don't know. I just have a feeling, man. We got Ice Jade Ran with two medallions, which is really dope. You can discard one of our Ice Jade cards. So we can go into a level 10 straight away. Ice Jade Gamir is good, is a good shout. Um, let's use Joel Unlock Bird. I didn't see what he used, but sure. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. And Phaser. Ho. Oh. Is it a U Bell? Bro, I swear to God, if I come if I play against another U Bell, I'm gonna be pissed. I think this is how we play this. I, I can't remember. Bro. Damn, I forgot. So we send it with we send it to the graveyard with Salomon Great. And then our Mirage is gonna send it and then we use its effect in the graveyard, which is going to add one of these cards to my hand. Uh I think it was freezing. Yep. Because freezing allows us to bring back Mirror Jade. We tribute our Mirage. God damn, I'm sorry guys. I'm probably doing this really bad. But we're going to go into Coral Dragon. It still works. 5 plus 1 equals Coral Dragon. I think I, went, uh, I go into Medallion. There's our Coral Dragon. We don't have Speaker in the graveyard. That's our problem now. But we're going to go into it. No worries. Yep. And then we're going to Special Summon Speaker. We want a 6 plus 4 with Gorgeous first. So let's get Gorgeous into our hand because we can Special Summon him. And then we go into Lancia with Gorgeous and Speaker. There we go. And then since Speaker's in the graveyard now, we could get another token to bring out Coco Pops. Which is going to enable us to draw more cards now. Yes, 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 yes. Probably not the most efficient way of playing this turn. But it is what it is. And now we go into Coco Pops Dragon. Using our tokens and our Coral Dragon. Use both effects. Yes. And Coral Dragon to draw more cards. Thank you. This is going to be one of the strongest boards that we've had. Uh, nope. We don't need to. Because we still have Ice Jade in our hand as well. And then three more. There we go. Okay. Now we activate Ice Jade. Let's summon Ice Jade. Who's going to summon a token as well? And then we go into a level 10... That's for Banish. Let's go into a Ice Shade game here. Aubergine. Yes, yes. It's a really strong board to start off with. We have an Effect Negates. We have Lancia. We have everything else. This board is looking good. We got Maxi in our hand. Ice Shade Ron to start our next turn. Um, Wait, if this goes through... OTK. I didn't even realize. I thought this was turn one. Because he didn't have anything on the field. Well, okay. He... He screwed because it was game over. And now we go into game three. Let's go. Oh, nice. We get to go first. I really do need to brush up on my ice shade skills. I do accept that. I do accept it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, how we're going to play this? We're going to do the same as last turn. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to go into gorgeous next. Who's going to bring out? No one can go into anemone like this. Yep. Oh, no. I need speaker. And then speaker brings out gorgeous. And then da 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 yada yada yada. Yep. Okay. And there we go. Anemone. So let's use mirror mage's effect and bring out speaker. Well, sp get speaker to our hand. And then we use anemone's effect to get mirror mage back onto the field. Thank you very much. And then we use mirror mage's effect soon. Actually, we use it now to pop anemone. And then through this, we're going to get our tokens. Yes, yes. And then we go into our very blessed Coral Dragon. So Coral Dragon is going to go here. Let's play Speaker because I needed Speaker in the graveyard. Yeah, I misplayed. I misplayed so hard. I should have waited for Gorgeous. This is where I would play Gorgeous. Then I would Synchro Summon into Lancia. But here we're going to go with Dragite. So yeah, this is where we would have summoned Gorgeous and then fused them, synchroed them into, you know, a level 10 Lancia. I kind of misplayed. I don't know why I did that. My bad, my bad. This board could have been so much better. Oh, you're playing Gem Knights as well. Again, what's with everyone playing Gem Knights? Okay, Maxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get rid of that. Bye-bye. Goodbye. We don't need any of that here. 
Yep, destroy it as well. Thank you very much. And that's our target one monster in Evil Graveyard. They're going for my monster? Who are you going for? Who are you going to summon? Coral Dragon. Okay. Thank you. Oh, come on, man. Going to get rid of my Dragite. Oh, that's a shame. Battle phaser. One thousand five hundred damage is nothing. I don't know why it asked, but it's fine. And turn um sets a card down as well. We should be fine. Draw Nibiru. Mm, not really the card I was looking for, but we have freezing chains that we could start with. So we will bring used effect. Yes, please. We're gonna go with mirror magic mage. Face up attack position. I want to use Salomon Great Armourage. Why can't I Salomon Great? Bad. Sure. Might be able to go into Anemone. I can't because Anemone's... Anemone's not even there, man. I've misplayed. I don't know if I scoop. We'll see. Gonna take a bit more damage. I can't believe we're gonna lose to Gem Knights. It's because I didn't play properly, man. Now we use infinite imperm. I want to use imperm. Yep, there we go. Thank you. That's fine, that's fine. We might be able to turn this around. Okay, we should be able to turn this around if I don't misplay. So we go Hexa. Hexa is going to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard. Yep. And then Mirror Mage is going to bring a Medallion to my hand or Speaker, but we go Medallion. And then we're gonna use Medallion to bring speaker into our hand where is he speaker yep and then we use speaker to go into i mean i think we could go into baron the floor right now as well we're gonna have to go into baron the floor yeah we're gonna have to play like this because we don't have an enemy so we can't we can't do the actual we can't actually do the setup and then that goes into that and then we go straight into um i mean we can go into anything else but a baron right now baron the floor you baron the floor is going to change the tide of battle here baron the floor you can target one card on the field destroy it yes we want to get rid of these monsters to be honest and then we activate oh there we go what's he doing if a face-up gem knight monster you control is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect target one of those destroy inflict damage to your opponent equal to his original attack well we activate baron the floor again we negate yep now we know his back row is kind of fucked as well that's not gonna do anything there we go and then i could tribute one other effect monster bring out okay let's see if we could end the game here that's speaker right yep okay so we tribute hexa here and then we're gonna get three tokens and then we can go into we don't go into coral dragon we go into white aura whale that should kill a uh, coral dragon. When this card is synchro summoned, you can destroy all your opponent's attack position monsters. Oh, well, there we go. We just got rid of his board immediately. Just like that. And now we can attack. It's a free board. He has no cards in his hand. We have turned the game around. And this is the power of ice barriers. I mean, we're playing up against a gem knight. But it is what it is. Main phase two. We can't end this turn. We're going to have to wait. He's going to draw one card, and with one card, we have an Ash in our hand, we have a Cord by the Grave, and, well, I don't think Nibiru is really going to do anything, but I'm sensing a scoop coming. Is it going to... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We keep Baron the Fleur. And whatever he plays... Okay. We can negate, or we could just, you know, end the game. I don't want to make anything. We're just going to go and end the game right now. Why, Orwell, attack for game! 
boom and there we go he thought he was winning that's not happening today my guy that's not happening today there we go that's three out of three. Oh, and we are playing against Akaru, I think um, his name is. I'm not sure. I used to be able to read Japanese. But we're going first. Hopefully we get a good hand because I don't remember every single one of the combos. I've kind of forgotten, you know. But yeah, this is looking like a standard Hexa one card combo into Coco Pop Dragon and everything else with Speaker in our hand and everything else as well. So we should be able to end on a good uh, board here. It's a maxi. Okay, he's going to draw a fuck ton of cards. Ooh, draw a lockbird. Nope. So he can't use maxi anymore. That's fine. But hopefully I can still make my play. Yeah, I can. Oh no, my coral dragon. Yeah, okay. My coral dragon's not really going to do anything at the moment. But we don't need it to. It would have been nice. My coral dragon and my cocoa pops dragon. It would have been nice to uh, be able to draw, obviously. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Now, let's go into a Cocoa Pops Dragon so we can actually negate. Um, we'll have a negate on the field. Even though he's not going to be too strong, we are going to have at least a negate on the field. So let's get another token. And by negate, I mean Cocoa Pops' effect. So, yep, let's put him in attack position. He's not going to have that much attack, but it's fine. So, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to play with, I guess. I mean, we, only, we can only do that once, which kind of sucks. We kind of trapped us, but we did special summon a lot. He was going to have a fuck ton of cards to go into any combo he wanted, and we did not want to do that. So let's see. He's going to set two cards. He has four cards in hand, and maybe he just ends turn. Nope, he's going to go Magician Souls. So Dark Magician deck. This is fine. We don't want to do this yet. I mean, we have two medallions. If he gets rid of Coco Pops, it's not too much of a big deal. The attacks are the same. He brings Dark Magician on the field. I could get rid of it now, but I don't want to get rid of my cards yet. Unless I really have to. Because med two medallions just means a Lancia straight up. Okay, now we want to actually activate this effect. Yeah, we're going to discard Magic Mirror Mace. And then this as well. And we're going to pop his... Uh, Dark Magician. Yep, and then we can add a card to our hand for next turn. We're going to add Speaker to the hand. So we could just summon it straight away and then go into a Lancio maybe next turn. With the help of Medallion. And depending on what card we draw, we should be able to turn this around. Right now, we're going to take some damage like we did in the previous game. But we should be cooking. It's fine. I mean... These games have been rough today, and that's mostly because I forgot the combos. Like, if I was... if I'd, I should have done some training before actually recording. But I wanted to get some content, Yu-Gi-Oh! content out for you guys. And since we moved on to Ice Barriers for our Rookie to Master, we're going to continue with Ice Barriers until we hit Master. We should be able to hit Master with Ice Barriers, hopefully. But, yeah. There we go. We've taken some damage now. For phase, let's see. What do we draw? Called by Grave. Not too bad. Not too shabby. He has two set cards in the back row, which is kind of giving me the chills. Uh, but we're going to summon a Speaker. He's going to summon... Yep, okay. Well, let's call by the Grave, because I don't want Dark Magician on the field. Okay, now that's going to use uh, one of the other effects. What? Was that from his hand? Oh, it was from his hand. And then we're going to bring out Gorgeous, so we can special summon. Yes, yes. And then into magic. Now this says, if this card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. Okay, so if we target this, this is actually good. We could go into Baron the Flow and just destroy it, to be honest. Yeah, we're going into Baron. Baron's going to come in clutch again. I don't know what his other set card is. But wherever it is, we are not going to... We're going to get rid of this. And goodbye. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. I was going to... I was thinking about tribute in a token. And I was going to click it. And it was just going to be like... Oh, you need to tribute Baron now. And it was just going to be like... Moo, noob. And it was just going to be new plays. But you know... Now, he only has one card in his hand and one set card. So, we are slowly turning this around. Baron should lock him down. 
and we should turn this around with Baron de Fleur. I need to change my board. Oh, there we go. There's the scoop. Voila. And just like that, the game turns around. Silver free. Let's go. I'm sorry about that, my friend. I'm not letting you draw any more cards. I have full control. You are in my domain now. Domain activation. The order of the cards of the top of the deck was changed. Oh no. Yugi, what will we do? With the power of friendship, Joey, we will defeat this ice barrier deck. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Rookie to Master. Today, we're going to be taking our Ice Barrier deck once again. Starting where we left off, Silver Free. We got demoted from the new season. Yada, yada, yada. A lot of yapping. Not enough dueling. Let's go. Our first game of the day. We need to get out of these low elos, man. We should be getting out of these really quickly. Win the coin toss. Let's go. Starting the day off fresh. We're going to go first, as per usual. And I know in the previous episode, I kind of messed up the combos because I didn't because I didn't remember them. Today, I got you, fam. And I also need to change the fucking thing in the bottom, man. Thing in the bottom, man. The board. Because the red is fine shining on my face. All right, so we start with a mirror mage and a revealer of ice barrier and also a medallion. So this is a good start, to be honest. We could start with revealer and then we could pop off into anything else we could also start with mirror mage uh, i think what we're gonna do here is quite simple we're gonna start off with revealer Ooh, the connections are not connecting with tyrone oh no he pulled the max c what we do is we activate revealer i don't know i like all these cards but we could discard medallion since we're about to get another one but then yeah we special summon hexa we use Hexa to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard. As one does. And from here we go into the normal combo. We use Mirror Mage to give me, give me, give me, give me. Chippy, chippy, chapa, chapa, ruby, ruby, yapa, yapa. We're going to go with a medallion. Special summon into Anemone. Anemone is going to bring back Mirror Mage. He's going to draw a fuck ton of cards, which is kind of a problem. But we're going first, so we need to end on a good board. Infinite Imperm. That's gonna affect us kinda he's gonna negate him his effect so i can't really target this is bad i think we end turn and hope for the best next turn if we if we had gorgeous in our hand maybe i should have used that medallion yeah i should have kept that medallion that was bad play i could have used two medallions and then went into speaker and then gorgeous as well and i just summoned a level 10 even though he negated me um next time make sure let's just activate maxi Next time, Kai, make sure. Next time, Kai, make sure. Make sure. Make sure to keep the medallion in your hand. Oh, shit. I gave him cards, and this is looking like an Exodia deck. Hmm. I mean, I'm just assuming that from the amount of cards he's drawing. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, oh, we got a bit rid of my back row. Still fine. He has five cards in his hand. We still have... Raigeki, okay. A lightning storm and a Raigeki in his hand after drawing so many cards. What was he playing? Magician Souls. Okay, it's a Dark Magician deck. We're good, fams. We're good. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. End phase? Oh. You had so many cards and you couldn't pop off? That's a shame. We need to remember we can't go into Anemone now. What can we do? We can send Mirror Mage, get another Medallion of Ice Barrier, and then use both Medallions since it's not once per turn. So we could use Amirage to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard so we can activate its effect. He only has two cards in his hand. I'm not too stressed. His back row is kind of yibby yibby. Oh, did I fuck up? No, 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 no. What we need is we need Freezing Chains before we fuck up. Because we need to play Freeze and Chains. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to normal summon. Because we normal summon the magic... Uh, what's it called? If your opponent adds cards from the deck, what? That's fine. Whatever. If I was to get uh, Speaker, I wasn't going to be able to normal summon. Because I normal summoned the Mirror Mage in the beginning. Oh, he's going to play Max C to draw more cards. Quite smart. Quite smart. Now, Freeze and Chains are the Ice Barrier. If I bring Mirror Mage back, I get to activate its effect. Yeah. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to go into Coral Dragon. Use Medallion to bring out Gorgeous. And we should be good, fam. There we go. We get our tokens. Is there a ping problem? Why is the animations taking so long? It's like special summon another monster. Ching. 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 Okay, we go Coral Dragon. White Aura Whale. Would be goated, but that's just short term. We don't want short term gains. We want long term. Coral Dragon. And then from here, we pop off Medallion. 
Gonna get a gorgeous into our hand. Where you at, my brother? And there we go. And then we summon the gorgeous. Do we not have a speaker in the graveyard? We don't. Hmm. Because if we did, we'd... Uh, yeah. Uh, we get the revealer. And then through revealer, we're gonna... Yep, this is looking like a easy, 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 easy. Um, so Coral Dragon into Revela brings us Lancia, and then through Lancia, where um, through what's his face, bro? Through Gorgeous and the two tokens, and let's see what we draw as well. Another Gorgeous, that's absolutely fine, and then we're gonna get the Dragite. Through the rest of the mandem on the field. The ping, bro. I don't know. Is this guy like living in the other side of the world? Because the animations are really slow. Or am I just used to Pokemon like four times speed? Alright, so now he can't activate any of the traps or effects. So we're going to go straight into battle. Um, we're going to attack into his magician. And then direct attack as well. Now we have control. We have control of the board. End phase. It's looking good. We turned it up at turn 3. We have a Dragite and a Lancia, which is perfect. If he special summons, if he summons, we're going to flip it to defense. We're going to summon a monster from our graveyard or wherever. And Dragite's going to stop the spell cards and face down cards from activating. And yes, there we go. He's, he had to play a T-set pass. And now it's our turn again. In which we draw a Hexa. Who? Now, what can we do with this Hexa? We could... First thing we could do is just go straight from Hexa and then summon a level 10. Or, what we could do is Hexa into... Speaker into Gorgeous. Hexa, Speaker, Gorgeous. I need one more space on the board for a Baron de Fleur. But we're still going to go like this, so... We're going to summon, normal summon Hexa. He's going to be like, okay, he has a hand trap. Do I activate my back? Yep, you do. Draw one card. Um, I'm sorry about that, my friend. I'm not letting you draw any more cards. I have full control. You are in my domain now. Domain activation. Maxi, he is so desperate to draw cards. I'm not letting you draw any more cards. You're going to get like, you're going to get a few freebies here and there. But... You are really not, actually. I changed my mind. Um, I mean, you are, but it's it's game over. It's it's like, it's literally game over right now. Yep. There we go. Can we summon Baron de Fleur? Of course we can. And into Baron de Fleur we go. Bada boom, bada bing. We're going to destroy his face down and end the game. That's going to be a... Easy second win. Oh, is this our first game? I don't remember. I think this is our first game. No. Stop. Yes. Stop him, Baron de Fleur. Negate the activation. How dare you? I told you, I have full control of the board. You are not allowed to do anything. Now, next game. Please, thank you. Drag I end the misery. Yes. There we go. That's our first win for today. Let's go. Started off good. Still on a 100% win streak um, from when we started to play Ice Jades. Not Ice Jades, Ice Barriers. I keep calling it Ice Jades. In the previous episode, I had to fix that as well. But yeah, I also saw some of your comments in the comment section down below on the previous episode. And I was like, I really doubt you got a 100% win rate. But it was a misunderstanding. And yeah, we have a 100% win rate from the time we started playing this deck. And we're only testing it against Silvers right now. It's a rookie to master series, which means we started rookie. We're going to master. We haven't been there yet. And so far, it's 100% in these ranks. That's what I need you to guys to understand. I'm not claiming to have gotten a 100% win streak against masters. It is what it is. We continue. He can't make up his mind. Then you don't know what your deck is capable of. Second. Second is fine. If we get good hand traps and second turn hand. It would be creme de la chair. I don't even know what that means, but I'm just making words up now. Oh, we have an Ash. An Ice Jade is really good. A Mirror Mage to start off. 
and a call by the grave. It's a good, decent hand. It's a decent hand. I'm, it's, I'm guessing, because everyone in Silver's go for nostalgic decks. That's what I've noticed. We had a, um, let's see, Photon Tokens. Okay. Photon Dragon, maybe. I thought he was going to play Blue Eyes. But let's see. Ah, shit. I didn't remind myself to change my board. And now you guys see the red reflecting on my face again. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That was It was that easy? What do you do? I mean, it doesn't have any negating effects. So we're good. And he only has 2,500 defense. Even though he has 3,000 attack. We could play into... We could play into something. What does this do in your graveyard? And if it does special summon that target in any position. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your graveyard. If, oh... He's, he's tributing his galaxy. Okay. Oh, 4,000 to 3,000. What? Card gains attack equal to the combined monsters on the field. Oh, damn. He already has 4,000 attack. Ooh. So, basically, the idea is... Oh. Okay. I mean, he did the combo, and then I don't know why he just... Ah, connection failed. We take those. The idea in that game was to not attack and not destroy his card, but banish it. It was second standby phase. I think we would have ended the game by second standby phase with the amount of cards he used in his hand. Now, my brother from Japan, we lose the coin cost. Coin cost? God damn, this is going to become a meme. Uh, we lose the coin toss. We're going second. This is game number three. Uh, usually, I end on three games, but the second game was too quick. And it's only been 17 minutes. You know, we keep going. Now let's see what our friend here has. Draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from your hand. Uh, let's just play Max C. Oh, we have Psy Fam Gam uh, we have Psy Frame Gear Gamma as well. So go in second. This is a really good hand. Reveal of the Ice Barriers, same hand as our first duel. Not too different. It's looking good. Oh, you don't want to do that, my guy. It's Elemental Hero deck. And you're going to let me draw. Did he normal summon? But I am going to negate it and destroy your card. It's it. it is what it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Negate. Destroy. Let's go. There's his normal summon. Goblinberg. And after that, change the... Yep, okay, cool. And you're gonna do what? He's just allowing me to draw. Xyz into a level 4. Yep, absolutely fine. Number 39, Utopia. This card is good. Ooh, oh, oh, never mind. Utopia Prime. I have so many cards now. Uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that right now. Not right now. Trust me, you don't want to do that. He's reading my cards. That's what he's doing. But if he does that... And he drops his life points to 10. Oh. Oh, is there another step up from number... Utopia the Lightning. Why are you making me read cards for no reason then? If this card battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Okay, once per chain during damage calculation. It's all damage calculations. What if I get rid of your cards before damage calculation? We're going to set infinite impermanence to negate your shit. And then we're going to start off with our normal... Ooh, Baron de Fleur. It's looking like a Baron de Fleur arc. It really is. Hexar. What are you going to do? What is that face down that you have? Solemn warning. I mean... Not bad. But still bad. I'll end my turn. You could have another turn. Discard one card from your hand. Uh, let's get rid of this because this has graveyard effects it's absolutely fine my guy you're on 2000 life points i did nothing i still have so many resources in my hand what are you gonna do battle phase and then just attack play a card yeah okay that's fine that's fine that is absolutely fine yeah you're not banning the monster just do 2500 damage is fine yep no problem you're gonna get fucked next turn though Yep. I'm telling you, I will end the game next turn. This turn is over. This turn is over. Oh, oh, over. It's over for you. I will make it pain. I will make it pain. I will summon and summon and summon and you won't even understand what's going on. Okay? 
So we go Hexa. Gonna do my normal, normal. Your maxi, it doesn't matter. It does not matter, okay? Cause I'm gonna, no, I can't imp impermanence it, but it's fine. That's absolutely fine. I've changed my mind about summoning so much. I'm just gonna end you, okay? You are annoying. You are so annoying. Oh. Oh, but brother. Brother, uh. You know what I'm gonna get? Brother, uh. Freezing chains. Freezing chains, brother. It does not matter if you stop me. It does not matter if you try and negate my effects. Do you understand me? They're both tuners. We'll keep Mirror Mage. We'll get Mirror Mage. Because we can. And then he's just going to keep drawing. But we have Droll and Lockbird. So you ain't going to keep drawing anymore. You have one card in your hand. Bada boom, bada bing. Do you know what this means? This means pain. This means suffering. This means everything you could think of. Gorgeous. Please special summon. Our... Uh, which one are we special summoning? We need Ice Shade Run. So... Yes, we couldn't special summon from the graveyard as well, but special summoning from the graveyard isn't going to do anything. Yes, it is. But can I bring it back? Oh, yes, it is. Hold on a second. This is the third time we're summoning Hexa this turn, right? And then... Fuck, I didn't want to do this. Shit. Okay, I fucked up. Never mind, I was going to activate Hexa's effect. <laughs> Hexa's effect was going to pop off. I was going to... No, I was going to special summon Anemone. Anemone was going to do some stuff. But it's absolutely fine. We still get our... Um, free tokens. Which, we, I mean, we kept an anemone. So that's cool. And then we go into Coral Dragon. Where you at, brother? Yes, yes. I hope he realizes, right, that I'm not going to um how do I play this I'm just I'm just I'm just checking so I could go into white aura whale and just destroy him and he can't really do anything because it's not battle so you know what that's what I'm gonna do and then through gorgeous's means we're just going to end the game I don't want a full board yes we reactivate this effect get rid of that card please thank you very much goodbye. Don't rely on battle too much, my guy. I mean, the game's over, but if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna surrender yet, because I'm, I'm gonna make you surrender. I don't care. I'm gonna keep summoning. This is overkill. I know I have you right now, but brother in Christ, I don't care. Go into Lancia. I am summoning everything against you for what you did to my Hexa three times. You did it three times to my Hexa. This is what you get. Boom. Yeah, thank you. That's what happens when you fuck with my Hexa. Don't test the might of Ice Barriers. On to game four we go. We're going to keep going. Still too early. Ooh, Tri-Brigade Omen as his thing. I would I would like to go up against a Tri-Brigade deck since that was my OG deck, my main deck, and I didn't change the board as well. I'm going to do it after this game. I promise you guys. Um, It's a good hand. Ooh, it's a really good hand. And to be honest, it's looking like a Baron de Fleur. Let's see what he goes with. Illusion of Chaos. Huh. I mean, I'm going to Ash it. Sure. I'm not letting you get Illusion of Chaos. We're still continuing on the streak. I don't know how many games has it been. It was three out of three in the previous episode. And in this episode, it's like... It's been three games as well. Yep. And he goes Dark Magician Circle. Yep. It's another Dark Magician deck. We shouldn't have a problem. I thought it was going to be a Tri Brigade deck. It's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. We just move on. The order of the cards of the top of the deck was changed. Oh no. Yugi, what will we do? With the power of friendship, Joey, we will defeat this Ice Barrier deck. Apprentice Illusion Mage. Yeah, go on. Go ahead. Play. I know you want to play that Dark Magician so bad. The nostalgia kicks in. End phase? 
Alright, I need to make sure that this card don't do anything extra apart from looking at the top three cards. You could target one or you can only... Okay, that, we need to get rid of that card. What does this do? So you control gains 2,000. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We're going to go with Baron de Fleur. And then we send Magic the Gathering to the graveyard. Oh. Bro, what's going on? He just saw Hexan and he was like, I'm bouncing. Fuck that. Game four, we made it to silver one. If we had a rage quick count, oh, that would have been really good. After two more wins, gold tier five. You know what? Let's get let's get to gold this episode. Yes, we get the coin toss. And we will go first. Please give us a first go in hand. Lovely hand. That is a beautiful hand for first turn. Now, I just need to make sure I play properly. And I promised you guys I would change the board, but I didn't again. I'm just keep on going. So, play Hexa. Let's see if he has any hand traps. He doesn't. That's nice. We're going to send Magic the Gathering to the graveyard. Oh, he does have a thing. Go Magic the Gathering. Activate. Yes, yes. And then we're going to get a medallion to our hand. Because the gorgeous will be good. Ooh. He ashed my medallion. Hmm. That's a shame. I have too many cards in my hand right now, though. So I could still play Speaker. It's absolutely fine. We're going to continue into Anemone. We're going to go with our Cocoa Pops Dragon combo um, this time. Actually, we're not. Let's see if we could get Lancia and Dragite onto the same um, field. Anemone is going to bring back Magic the Gathering. And then Magic the Gathering is going to pop Nemo's Anemone to the graveyard. And we're going to get our free tokens. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's go. That's our free tokens set. And now, 5 plus 1 equals Coral Dragon. Yep. The mirror... Hmm. I would have liked the medallion to get gorgeous. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We go Coco Pops Dragon. Right? We draw cards. And then we, we, we have extenders. We already have extenders in our hand. But we're going to have more extenders. So we're going to Coco Pops Dragon right now. There he is. Using our tokens and our Coral Dragons. This is a basic combo of this deck. So we've accomplished that. And now, with the effects of Coco Pops Dragon and Coral Dragon, we are going to draw four cards, which we should be getting extenders and hand traps. So drawing four more cards is absolutely ridiculous cross outs okay medallion and a yes medallion and a gorgeous that's what i like to see now how do we play this if we play medallion we can't play speaker not yet anyway so let's play with ice shade and discard our magic the gathering okay play that face up Summon an Ice Shade token. Let's get Lancia on the field. Uh, hold on a second. Can I summon anything? No. Okay. Let's get Lancia. Yes, please. I think we save this hand for next turn. Because this is good already. Um, just in case he ends up getting rid of our monsters. We have Cross Out. We have Medallion for next turn. And yeah, this this is a good board for first hand. This is a good board for first hand. We have two 3,000 plus attack monsters on the field. We have a negate if we need it. We have a max C and a cross out designator um, if we need to do anything. So infinite imperm, he's going to negate the effects of that. Mm, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I would have rather had him not negate Lance's effect. Add one ritual spell. We're going to max C. Because I would like to draw cards. If we need to, we would use Coco Prop Dragon. I know it's Coco Draw. Coco Dragon. I know it's Coco Dragon. Croco Dragon, but that's just too long to say. Ooh. Ooh, we might be in a bit of a pickle right now. That is one of the good decks, meta decks at the moment. And him negating my Lancia is going to allow him to play. All right, we have a game in our hands. I don't know what that deck was called. I'm pretty sure it was up in the tier ranks. It's fine. Yeah, the voiceless. 
Okay. The fact that he negated our lance here is a problem. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. If we win, we win. Can this card is oh, mana mana no money. Okay. It still will allow it to go. This is a continuous spell. You could target one of your voiceless cards that is banished on your graveyard. If a normal monster or special summon, you can ritual summon one night. Blah, 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 blah. Too much reading, man. I'm going to allow you to do it. And he plays another spell. That, that looks like too much to read as well. How many spell cards do you have? And what do they all do? I'm pretty sure at this point, if I activate anything, it's getting negated. Like, yeah, there we go. Protector of the Voiceless Voice. Get another medallion. Uh, let's see what he says. I can't activate this because he's negated. But I kind of want to try this. So let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of... We have two medallions. Let's get rid of Gorgeous. And destroy this card. I don't know if it's going to work. I didn't read. I mean... It done something. He's gonna he's gonna play something still. I don't know what his spell cards do. That's the only problem that I'm having. Oh come on! What's that doing now? Is he gonna resummon it? Did I waste cards? Oh come on, man! I mean, that's negated. It's not going to matter, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, shit. He has low the praise of the voiceless now. Yeah, this, this looks... This, this is looking rough right now for us. Because I think these two cards in conjunction... I don't think he's going to draw any more cards, to be honest. Oh, he is. Okay, never mind. But it's not from his deck. I need to get rid of this card. But I don't know where he's getting the 4,100 from. You see, knowing decks, is this is why it's important. Because then I would have known what to get rid of. And he played another one. Oh, shit. Okay. That's Lancia isn't going to do anything. I mean, he gets to get rid of two of my boss monsters. And I don't think... Ooh. If it's negated, is it going to stay negated in the graveyard? Oh, he's still going to negate it. It's fine. We need to get rid of... Um... We need to get rid of Lower the Praise of the Voiceless. And I'm pretty sure he can negate it. So, I don't know. Ooh, Infinite Imperm. Not bad. But he has two negates. That's the problem. Sure. He's going to negate it, though. If we can go into Aubergine, that's what I want to play. Because I think he gets rid of both of his cards, but he's just going to negate the activation of all of these cards. Yeah, this is looking rough right now. How many times can he negate, though? That's my question. Um, I still have a normal summon. It's really important what I draw here right now. Because I can't remember if I did some of the combos this turn. It's turn three. If we go into Hexa. Alright, fuck it, we ball. We're most likely going to lose anyway. What can he do?
What the fuck was that? Why did he get rid of both of my... Bomba Club. Okay, surrender. And there are goals. Our 100% win streak. So let's not end on a loss. We go for one more game. Keep our head held high. Is this the same guy? Oh my god, what is this hand? This hand is disgusting. When you don't draw any ice barrier cards in your hand, you know it's bad. And he gets Armageddon Knight. Uh, no. And he normal summoned that as well. So let's play frame gear. We have two Ash Blossoms in our hand. I guess we had to be nerfed for this deck, like for this game. But looks like we're not getting to gold this episode. Because uh, this will be the last game of this episode. We got really unlucky. Oh, okay, no. They were going to go anyway. Why are you wasting a dark hole? Just to get a free attack? Okay. Questionable plays. Questionable plays. I can't attack. Like, hello? This is the first time we bricked in with this deck. And we still didn't change the board. <laughs> Looks like we're going to change it for next episode. But it's cool. He sets a card and he's going to end phase because he doesn't have cards as well. Can I please play... Like, just give me anything to start off a combo so we can end the game. That's not really a card that I'm looking for. Oh. I don't want to do that. We max C so we could draw more cards. Because I... Like, we need it. No, that that Ash Blossoms ourself. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Why would I Ash Blossom myself? Supreme. Oh, come on. We're still pulling hand traps. What is this? If this card destroys all cards your opponent controls, I don't control any cards. What are you doing? Oh my God! Once per turn, when it. What the fuck? How do we get rid of this? Once per turn, when a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand. Oh, that's in the pendulum. Uh, excuse me? Um, I still can't play anything. Uh, we're going to have to set a card. Infinite Imperm is important. And then that turn. End turn. We want to negate it when we attack it or get rid of it. So Imperm is important for us. But this is a disgusting card. And the fact that we got this hand is on its own gonna challenge us now if we had a proper hand he wouldn't be able to play that card 100% if we had Dragite if we had Lancia or any other cards when he summoned just negate end the game he's on 4,000 life points though so we'll see how that goes oh why would you summon that Ghost Dogger is meant to stay in your hand no sure oh he got rid of that card to get Nightmare Phoenix for why you can discard then target one spell trap card destroy it is that what you wanted to do all this time um if i imperm it's not gonna do anything it's just sure negate it's not gonna do anything i mean he got rid of his boss monster is he gonna come back is that why he done that because he was scared of my face down where did it go? We went back to the deck. Oh, I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, we're just going to go here. And then we're going to use our Mirage. To pop Mirror Mage to send it to the graveyard. And there we go. And then we activate Mirror Mage Magic the Gathering's effect. I don't know why I call it. It's Mirror Mage. It has. It doesn't even have magic in its name. Uh, select a card to add to your hand. Freezing Chains. We need Freezing Chains to bring Mirror Mage back so we can pop it to get our tokens. Yes, yes. And use this effect to bring it back. Nice. I think he misplayed. I don't know. I mean, I have called by the grave, but he's not even in the graveyard. I think he just went back to his extra deck. Um, but sure. We pop our Mirage. And then we set the combo. He has a hand trap. There we go. 
but then we also have called by the grave i'm not having you ruin my fucking combo okay i'm sick and tired of having combos is that effect Vela? wait no he fucked up oh wait no he's still stopping it i mean if it doesn't destroy it's fine negated effect so oh uh, but it still acts as if it was used oh and he surrendered okay sure uh that was a free win we take those and we are just one more match away from gold five all right so we left off at silver one we're a few games or maybe one game away from gold one have you guys been playing the duelist cup because goddamn i've lost every single game that i've played oh we get to we get to choose we're gonna go first hopefully I, it's been a few days since i've used ice battery hopefully i haven't forgotten the combos already but let's see we start off with mirror mage the ice barrier we're gonna have to go into um salomon great al mirage he has no hand traps so that's good we, we could get the board that we want uh use the effect please yes and uh, we're gonna bring out i've got a medallion yeah we want we want speaker uh speaker into the hand and then we're going to use no, we're not. I kind of fucked up. I was gonna... What am I doing? Game one and I fucked up already. I was meant to get freezing chains. Shit. Okay. Never mind. That's, that's first turn fucking wasted. This is why you're silver, Kai. Just saying. This was such a free first turn and I've gave it, give it, given it away because I forgot how to play. Great. Ah, you bell. Great. I don't have a board. And he's playing you, Bell. Guess what? Ain't no way I'm gonna even try and play this. Maybe. Oh, Uriel Lord of Syrian Frames. Yes, yes. He's popping off. Dark Beckoning Beast. Great. Do we just go into game two? Fuck this. No, but I'm, I'm like one game away from gold. Yeah, no, I can't be asked. I fucked up. Next game, game one. Let's just pretend that last game didn't happen. We move on. I need a haircut, bro. What is this? Okay, this is a good hand, not gonna lie. We start with Hexar and an Ice Jade. We could get a few um, cards to pop off. It's my turn. Why is it Why is it asking you for stuff? Oh, disconnect. Mr. J All right, we're gonna start our hand with the way we start every single time with a Hexar. We activate Hexar's effect and Mirror Mage into the graveyard. And then we pop off from there, this time properly, without um, fucking up. So we're going to take Speaker into our hand, this time. Uh, apart, I kind of like the normal combo for this deck and the way I've did, done it in my tutorial video. So the way I did it was, I would go into Coral Dragon and then Coco Pop Dragon. Croco Draw Dragon. But... Um, I've stopped doing that. I think getting Lancia and Dragai onto the field is more effective than actually going for Crocono or Croco Draw or whatever it's called, man. I feel like that's a better play from here, at least. We do go into Coral Dragon, but we use Coral Dragon for Lancia and then we get Dragai out as well. So then from here, we're going to go into Coral Dragon and with Coral Dragon, we're going to use to get Lancia and we're going to also get Ice Shade as well. I mean, we could go off into Coco Pops Dragon this turn. Yeah, let's. We need extenders. So we are going to go into Coco Pops Dragon since we do have an Ice Shade in our hand. So there's the Coco Dragon. And we want to activate the effect of both of them to draw more cards. And we're going to get more extenders in our hand this way. Wins over the Ice Barrier. Not bad, not bad. We have two. Yep. Set an Infinite Imperm. Play an Ice Shade. Let's discard one of the magic mages. Play Ice Jade. Yes. And then use the token. I mean, not the right extender that I was looking for, but it is what it is. And we can go for... I don't know. Do we go Aubergine? Nah, let's go Lancia. Lancia is our key card in this deck right now. Not a bad first turn. We got Lancia on the field and Coco Pops Dragon. Coco Pops Dragon can negate by discarding two cards from our hand. 
even though it loses attack it's like an upper loser but it's not so that's our it's not a negate but it's a destroy so we can actually uh pop off with that standby phase Ugh. okay here we go what are you playing mythical beast jackal so one of our discards is obviously wins over the ice barrier it has a graveyard effect and we could get rid of another mirror mage so we can get a medallion into our hand set card as well is that a pendulum what are you doing you don't want to attack what are you doing okay what is this ping god fucking hell man he's destroyed just destroy his card okay it's not the ping he's just thinking my bad what are you doing though okay you special summoned it's not the ping, is it? He's just doing random stuff. I don't know why Lancia didn't pop off, though. Because that was a special summon. Should ask me if I want to change his... Is it except damage step? Oh, okay. What is he doing? Is he just killing himself? Okay. Are we getting a free win? What's going on? Uh, we drew Hexa. Um, I'm going straight to battle phase. I'm not going to worry too much about anything else let's attack for four thousand. that back row is a bit yeah as as i thought it's a gg i don't know why he done that but yeah we gave a free loss we took a free win um it is what it is a victory is a victory v for vendetta let's go number two game yes let me see yes okay i don't know what i'm talking about next game there we go and that's our rank up to gold now we just keep going baby after four more wins. Oh, the struggle is real. First or second. Okay, so here's our first game in the gold rank with the Ice Barrier deck. Um, it's been pretty easy so far. The Duelist Cup has definitely uh, put, uh, put my hopes down the drain for the Ice Barrier deck. Because I've been losing a lot of the games for the, against these rogue decks. And I'm going to upload that content as well soon. We start off with a good hand, but we, don't get, we do get first turn. Um, so we're going to go with the basic combo of Hexar into... Mirror Mage, Magic the Gathering, send Magic the Gathering into the graveyard and just pop off with a normal combo. Continue our normal combo. I might go with the Dragite Lancia one for this one. Um, just for the simple reason of being first turn and having a negate, spell trap negate and a Lancia for the monsters is always good. Get Mirror Mage up to level 5 and bada boom, bada bing. It's as easy as that. He has no hand traps so it's looking good. We're going to use Medallion to get what's his face. Gorgeous. We're going to get Gorgeous into the hand. That's going to be a free summon with the tokens on the field. And then we're going to bring in Speaker from the graveyard to send her back to the graveyard. So we get a free Lance here as well. So what you guys can do here is after... Um, so let me just show you. After we go into Lance here, right? With the Coral Dragon and the Speaker. So here we go. Lance here is on the field. We activate Coral Dragon's effect. Draw one card, right? Hexa is a great pull, by the way. Now, you can go into Dragite straight off this. So, 78678. Seven, or, we could go into one of our level 9 monsters, which I think is... Uh, we have Coco Pops Dragon and we have Trishula. But I, but I do prefer going for Dragite because it can stop spell and trap cards. For this case, we're just going to go into Dragite. Obviously, if they have attack position monsters, you go for White Whale and just get rid of the monsters if they can't negate. So this is a really strong board as well. Coco Pops Dragon obviously discard two, but I don't like the fact that I have to discard two from my hand. Now, I'm going to keep Ice Barrier Medallion um, for next turn. And we're just going to end turn, hopefully, now. Yes, okay. We have a Lancia for his monsters. We have a Dragite for his back row. It's a good hand. It's a good hand. We have Max C in our hand, but we don't have any other um, cards to play. Oh, is that Numeron Network? Yeah, it is. Here, I'm going to activate it because um, apparently I'm not going to activate it now. Yeah, now nah, fuck that. We're going to negate that. I don't know if he has another one. But if he does, that's our Dragite gone. I think he was going to get this out of the grave and then special summon all his Numero Network cards. Yeah, there we go. Um, activate the effect of Lancia. Yes, we want to bring out Speaker from the graveyard could have brought general Raiho, but it's fine so he doesn't have any other effects he's just put a defense monster down i might be able to get 
Baron de Fleur. I think that's what we're going to do. So we go Hexa into... Uh, we send Magic the Gathering into the graveyard, activate its effect. Bring Gorgeous into our hand. We have Medallion. We have Speaker already on the field. So Gorgeous into my hand. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Special Summon Gorgeous. Can't uh, do anything about its effect at the moment. But we're going to summon into Baron de Fleur. Because why not? I could get another 10 with Dragite. But I don't need to. The game's over. What am I doing? Activate effect. Oh, wait. No, the game is over. Destroy the Cyber and Dragon. Yep. Go to battle phase. End the game. Yep. Okay, there we go. Nice. Numero Network. Numero Network Tid. That's our second game. Another victory. We're on our third game. Or fourth if you count the first game. But we don't talk about that. That was fucking reckless. But yeah. Okay, he gets to choose if we go first or not. Um, we are going second, apparently. That's fine. Now, the side frame gear, if that was Gamma, that would have been much better. But we've got two hexes. It's a good hand if he doesn't have negates. So, let's see what he plays. And that is what? Child's play. Each time your opponent summons a monster, gain 300 life points. Oh. Oh, that's rough. I don't have any hand traps. Oh, it's going to be a pendulum zone summon. Metal Foes. Okay, he's going to Pendulum Summon. We need to make sure he doesn't get life points above 10,000. He's on 8,000 anyway. He almost... What? Oh, no. He bricked. Oh, it's only by battle, so I could get him um, through effect. So, if I just go Baron de Fleur first turn. And I got an Ice Jade as well. Okay. We need to get rid of Child's Play first. After we get rid of Child's Play, then we can start playing because that, that card at the back is kind of what is limiting us. So if we go into Ice Jade, uh, that's not really going to do anything. We need to summon three times. Yeah, I think we have enough to actually get Baron the Fleur out first turn. That's a bit rough though. We're going to activate effect. We're going to get Gorgeous into the hand. Let's send Magic the Gathering into the graveyard. Get gorgeous into the hand. Right, right, right. And then we summon speaker. Which enables us to summon gorgeous. That's fine. Sure. And then we bring magic the gathering onto the field. He's going to gain another 300. He's not on 10,000 yet. That's fine. He's going to get another 300 with Baron de Fleur. But that's absolutely fine. After Baron de Fleur, we good. He's going to draw a lot of cards, though. That's the problem that I'm having right now. That's fine. That's the last card you drew, my guy. And we're going to destroy that card. There we go. He has max C. So I don't really want to continue giving him cards at the moment. No, because he's then going to draw two more cards. Can I OTK is the question. With a lot of cards in his hand, probably not. Does he have any battle damage reducers? Um, we're either going to have to end the game, which I think we can. But he has he has a defense position monster, which is the problem. If I discard two cards, destroy, I think we can win. Hold on. I'm going to try pop off, guys. Let's see. We have Baron de Fleur to negate any um, effects that he c activates if we attack him. So him drawing cards isn't much of a problem if we can end the game this turn. So we're going to go into Coral Dragon. We're taking a risk here. We're taking a really big risk. Bring out Coral Dragon. We're going to go into Coco Pops Dragon. We're going to discard two cards from the cards that we draw. Sire Frame Gear is an easy discard. We sh and then we could play Ice Jade to further up our attack. Um, let's see what cards do we draw he's still not getting asked anything so he has no hand traps ice jade is here we got forbidden droplet and stuff let's see discard frame gear and then discard freezing chains as well yep that's five six seven now if i play ice jade this should be the one to end I, but we also need to realize that Coco Pot's Dragon is going down. We're going to summon Lancia. Is that not enough? Is that not enough? Ugh! 
He's gonna have 200 life points. And he has so many cards in his hand. Shit. Um... Could I have played anything else? No, because I normal summoned already. I use Gorgeous's effect. I use Speaker's effect to special summon. I, uh, there is nothing else I could have done just to get 200 more attacks in. I don't think so. Now he has how many cards? He has like 10 cards in his hand to make a play. And if he, if he, if he does Pendulum, oh my god. If he Pendulum summons, this is going to be rough. Ah, just needed 200 more life points. Increase your life points by 1,000. Sure, that, that doesn't matter. I could take that down. If your life points were lower than your opponent's when this card was activated, gain 2,000 life points. What? He's just going to keep trying to up his life points, right? It's fine. I have 9,000 life points that I could take down. I have 9,300 life points I could take down. I just need to make sure he doesn't do any of this shit. Sure. Let me try to get rid of his pendulum summon first. He's, he probably has another card though. That he could play. Because I don't want him pendulum summoning bro. Look how many cards he has. He could just summon his whole hand if he had to. Yeah there we go. This is what I was expecting. Let's see how many cards he's actually going to summon. All five? All five slots maybe? That's one. He's going to pop off a lot of... That's two... That's three. That's four. Or dies Pendulum Dragon. Are you gonna fill up the field? Oh my god. Um, yes. We need Raiho on the field immediately. About any of the other cards, I need Raiho on the field. Where is Raiho? General Raiho. I need him to stop activating effects. Like every time you wanna activate effect, you're gonna get rid of a card, my friend. I'm not dealing with that. And then if we could get Speaker, keep them in defense position, we'll be set. But yeah, there we go. That's the end phase. I can't discard anything at the moment. Infinite Imperm. So we activate effect. We're going to get rid of his Odd Eyes. Right. I don't want to play any other card right now. We're just going to go into battle. And then take them out one by one. So 2,500. Let's get rid of this card. I don't think he has any effects. From what I've read. To negate my attacks. Which is good. We're gonna get rid of this next. We're gonna get rid of this next as well. And then his last card is gonna be this one. Nice. Alright, so we cleared the field. Now the only problem is, right? Stop rushing me game. The only problem is he still has the pendulum things up. And that's going to cause problems. But if he activates the effect, we could Baron the Flurry. We could also Croco draw like one of his pendulum cards. So he doesn't pendulum summon anymore. Because Raiho is on the field now, he's going to have to discard a card every time he activates an effect. So we'll, that's, we're going to get him down to a few less cards. Okay, pendulum summon. Yes. I hope you can't bring them, them back from the extra deck. Apparently he can. Bro, this is long. You know what? I think we got speaker here. Yep, and then change the battle position of Odd Eyes. Thank you. Now we can't change into attack position. Yeah, I could use Croco Jaw to get rid of Hexa and like Forbidden Droplet. Since we don't really need Forbidden Droplet right now. Um, Flowenderies. He has no more cards in his hand though, so he can't activate any effects. I think he, he hasn't realized that at the moment. So now he's going to go into something else. We're going to use Lancia's effect to change his battle position again. Um, yeah, but you can't activate effects, my guy. Can we change his battle position, please? Lancia? Lancia? It's once per chain. Well, you can't do that. You, you can't do that. It's negated. My brother. Yes. You can't... Is it just monster effects? Yeah, okay. I want to use Lancia's effect to turn the card to defense position. Ah. Oh. I, I, at least we control the board. Why isn't Baron the, the Fleur's effect popping off? Is it because it's a pendulum monster? What are you doing? Wait, you can't even do that without discarding, right? Right. 
Oh wait, do pendulum zone not count as... Oh, he keeps um, getting new cards into his hand. No, you're going to get rid of one of my Rihos, man. Fuck it. We're going to get rid of Hexo. We're going to get rid of Forbidden Droplet. And we're just going to destroy your card. Can't be asked. Yep, there we go. Nice. And there's our... What, third, third victory of the day? Let's go back to where we belong. Going straight in. Let's go straight in. No, no, no. Why am I going second? Now, while it's his turn, tell me what you'll do with this hand. We have Ice Jade, Foolish Burial. I'm guessing Foolish Burial. Send Mirror Jade. Um, Mirror Jade bring... Who are we bringing into the hand? Revealer, maybe. Summon Revealer. No. Hold on. How would we do this? It's playing Cyclos. We use Foolish Burial. Send Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade to bring to our hand. Uh, Lil Wayne. I think no. No, 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 no. We bring a four star. Summon Gorgeous. Right? We have Freezing Chains as well. Or do we just go straight with Ice Jade? Oh. Wait, Ice Jade can't bring back Gorgeous though. Where is he playing? I don't know what he's doing. What is this? What is this deck? Fairy Ant. Okay, sure. Do your thing. If we play Ice Jade. So discard Gorgeous. Okay, I got it. Play Ice Jade first. Get the token out. No, because we can't summon Gorgeous because it's not an Ice Jade monster. Is this Naturia? No. Circle of Fairies. During your main phase, you can normal summon one insect monster by battle. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. Whatever. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do with this hand. Foolish Burial. Mirror Mage. Mirror Mage to bring... Uh... Mirror Mage to bring Revealer. Revealer, summon. Discard. Freezing Chains. You can Foolish Mirror Mage, then get Wayne. Freezing Chains on Mirror Mage, and then effect Wayne, get Medallion, get Speaker, Special Speaker, then go for Trishula Zero, then effect Gorgeous, target Speaker. Speaker, go for Lancia. Okay. Let's see. What... Wait, why is his card back so cool? Foolish into Mirror Mage. Then get Lil Wayne. Yes. Freezing Chains on Mirror Mage. Then affect Wayne to special summon Wayne, right? And then get Medallion. Which gets Speaker. You special spe special summon Speaker, then go for Trishula or Zero. Then effect Gorgeous, target Speaker from the graveyard. Summon Speaker, then go for Lancia. Okay, big brain, big brain. You got big brain. I like it. Unless, obviously, he can negate anything I do. Which I don't think he can. So you see, the way I was thinking... Foolish Burial, Mirror Mage. I would have got like Revealer, sent Revealer on. Discarded probably like Imperm or something. Or Ice Jade. I don't know why I would have done that. Or Gorgeous maybe. And then Special Summoned something. Oh yeah, we could Imperm from hand, right? True, and we have no cards. No, we could imperm whenever we, we want from the hand. But we'll do it when he um, has an end board next turn. Yeah, until the end of this turn. So it has to be next turn. Uh, what is he playing? I've seen this card before. Resonance Insect. Uh, Ragnarakai. Mantis Monk. 
Yeah, do on your turn. Okay, okay. Wayne, freeze and chains, mirror mage, then affect Wayne. Get medallion. Okay, I see how you did it. Damn. I, I, if I if I was to sit here and think for like 10 minutes, I would have never thought of that. But that's the difference. Oh, B Trooper. Okay. Let's read these beforehand. So this doesn't have any negates, I don't think. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect, plant, or reptile monster you control. Place it on the bottom of the deck. And if you do special summon, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't do anything. What about this? This has a summon effect. If you control the sick so you could target one insect monster. You control, treat it as a tuner. Okay, nothing so far. Also, after do all after you do all your combo, you are still gonna have one normal summon, so you could maybe use that. Wait, why am I normal summoning? What does this do? During your main phase. Oh, that's only main phase stuff. That's fine. Wait, are we going to draw? I don't think we're going to draw a card. Oh, but we are, are going to draw a card because we're turn two in it. We might get an extender. Now, the thing is, yeah, if if we um, if we draw Hexa or Revealer, do we still go with the same combo? Because if we get Revealer, we could normal summon Revealer. Um, hmm. No, because then I would have to discard one of these cards. So there's no point in discarding. If we get Hexa, we could normal summon Hexa, send Mirror Mage. Uh, get. Get Wayne. Special summon Wayne. Freezing chains the um Yeah. I think with Hexa we could do a combo where we get um Mirror Mage into the graveyard, s use Mirror Mage to get Wayne again, summon Wayne, freezing chains the Mirror Mage, and then Use Mirror Mage effect on Hexa, but also summon Gorgeous to do some stuff. And then we go into Lancia. We get wins from... Wait, there's a missing link there. I can't make a level 10 like that. Maybe we get Speaker instead of Wayne, but then we wouldn't have wins. We'll see. We'll see what we draw. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's been like 10 minutes and he's still playing his first turn. And all that's going to happen is I'm going to probably negate one of his effects. And then just play. Yeah. We don't need wins. Because we can go for OTK since we are turn 2. Okay, so is that the plan? Like, when we're turn 2, we don't go for Spellbreaker. We go for um, whatever the fuck we can summon. And just go for an OTK. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, he summoned his boss monster probably a Link 5. With 3,300. If a monster is special summoned from your opponent's deck, you can destroy two monsters on the field. Oh, looks like we found the card we're going to imperm. If this card is in your graveyard, you could target one insect plant monster place on the bottom of the deck. And if you do special summon this target. Okay, cool. Now. He's done both of these. Um, he has a lot of graveyard effects as well. This is only in his main phase, but he has two back rows. So let's see. Let's see what we could do. Cross out is okay. Uh, we're going to go with the main thing. So we're going to imperm his this dude. 
Let's see if it goes through. If it doesn't go through, we're kind of screwed. Yep, it's going to go through. Nice. So we negated that. Now, Foolish Burial. Where Where's your Foolish Mirror Mage? Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Got a Foolish Mirror Mage. Activate Mirror Mage effect. Yes. Gonna get Wayne. Where's Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Yep. Freezing Chains on Mirror Mage. Yes, please. Welcome back, bestie. Uh, the Maxi. Wait, we cross out. I don't have Maxi, no. This is why I need Maxi in the deck. So I could cross out it. <laughs> maybe maybe add one Maxi into this deck. Just so we could use it as a cross out target. Um, From here we activate. Oh, you're pink in my chat? Nice. I don't even see what color you are. Uh, freezing chains on mirror chain. Then effect. Yep. And then we get medallion. Does he, he keeps getting asked for something and I don't know what it is. He's going to draw a fuck ton of cards, but we're going for OTK. So hopefully we can OTK maybe. We get medallion. Why is our... Why is our attack law? What card is that? And then we get... Get medallion, get speaker, special speaker. Then go for Trishula zero. Then effect gorgeous. Okay, sounds good. Uh, where's speaker, speaker, speaker. There you are. Special speaker, then effects target speaker. Okay, cool. Activate effect. Um, it's the best day ever. Why? Because it's pink. Okay, now question. Which card is the one making... If this card is you can target, blah, blah, blah. Uh, insect and on all those on the field lose. Okay, so this card. So we get rid of these three, right? His boss monster, his link summon. And... Everything else. Also, bestie, why is it the best day ever? Banish free. Let's go. Trishula Zero Dragon. Yes, thank you. Such an OP card. I love it. Oh, he's going to activate something. Don't you dare. Target cards your opponent controls up to the number of different link monsters you control. What? What are you doing? Hold on. Up to the number of different monster types. Among the link monsters, you control that insect and destroy them. No! Wait. We're going to have to go for normal Trishula then. Mm. Is his effect going to pop off? It's still popping off. Nice. Is this a continuous spell card? No. Trap card? Uh... Gonna get Trishula and still banish free. Which one are we banishing, do you think? Cause the banish spell card, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same targets. There we go. And then activate its effect. Yep. Thank you. We're gonna get OG Trishula. Nice, nice. Okay. Now. What are we doing from here? We activate effect. Yes. Bring back speaker. And then we go into Lancia. But we're not going to be able to OTK. And he has a fuck ton of cards in his hand. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> what are we doing? I could go for Chengying. Ooh. Does that end? Wait, 700 on top of 3,700 OTK. Wait, it is, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. Good, good shout, good shout. And in fact, we can, we can banish speaker as well. 
to increase this attack. The only thing I want to ask, right, is... Yeah, then banish speaker from the graveyard. Why is it that when I banish speaker, Chengying's effect doesn't pop off? Like, shouldn't I be able to do something? Oh, wait, it does. What? Well, we're getting rid of that card. And then we're banishing... I don't know if he has any graveyard effects. Shit. If an insect wants, you can special summon this card. From your hand. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, if it has one field and one graveyard. Hold on, I'm trying to see if he has any, like, one banished on the main bottom of your deck. You could only special summon once per turn. I don't fucking know. Let's banish another card. Let's banish this shit. If this card is in your graveyard, yeah, get rid of that shit. Battle phase. Let's go, big boy. Big brain. CD, that's on you. The Cheng Yin call was sick. Let's go. Froggy got gagged. Careful time. You got OTK already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, man. We got it. No problems. No problems. Hell yeah. All right. That, that win was refreshing after our challenge. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get to go too. Yeah, that, that call was goaded. Because he had banished cards in his thing as well. And that was his downfall. SCP-158. Can I win a coin toss? Please. Every single time. It's like, nope. Nope, you can't. We're going second again. And then now he's going to take 10 minutes to play. And then I'm going to be late for what I got to do. Momo, why did you say it was the best day ever? Okay, this, this one's looking like a revealer. Hexer. Bring Hexer. Send Mirror Mage. Bring, uh, we have Wayne already. So we bring wins. No, we bring, yeah, we bring wins. We have Medallion. With Medallion, get Gorgeous. So we special summon Gorgeous. Gorgeous and Revealer make Lancia. Then with wins, we use to get Spellbreaker. And he's playing Branded, which is really good. Oh, because you're pink? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best day ever. If a light or a dark monster is banished, you could target blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So you agree with, with what I just said, right? With my play. So Revealer. We're going to use Revealer to get rid of Hexer. To get Hexer. No, we're not. Once per turn during your main phase, if you control a beast, so you contribute one dragon monster. What is he doing? Okay. Here you go. Medallion go for Mirror Mage. Summon Revealer, then discard Mirror Mage. Ah, okay. Yeah. Shit. Fuck. God damn, I should have waited. That would have made sense as well. Um Yeah, my bad. Oh shit. He had effect fail all this time. He bricked though. He only has two cards in his hand and he played no cards. Oh never mind. I hate decks that wait for your turn to play. Like, why are you playing on my turn, bro? Yeah, go just with Medallion into Lancia, right? No, oh, we're going to Ash that. Target hex sign, use hex's effect. What do you mean? Oh, with okay, cool. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. So we go gorgeous. We special summon gorgeous, target hexa, use hex's effect, send mirror mage, and then we pop off from there. Cool. I got you. I got you. Gotta bring summon monsters first. And here you can special spell summon Wayne too. That's great. Not anymore. <laughs> what is he doing? Stop doing stuff. I 
I mean, I still got what I wanted to get, no? Kind of. Bro, stop. What is this cycle? Fucking hell. <laughs> Just let me play, you cunt. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, he's allowed to do this with two cards? He's just gonna keep cycling? Well, we're gonna play Wayne now. What do we go? Medallion? Or wins? We're gonna go Medallion, right? It's not gonna matter because now he's gonna... How many times? Once per turn, no? Fuck you, no. No Medallion. Go Freezing Chains. Okay. What are we doing with freezing chains though? Hexa again? And then using Hexa's effect? Or are we going straight for gorgeous? Yeah, target Hexa, I thought so. Okay, cool. Finally, after like three alternative combos. We were able to do Mirror Mage. What are we doing with Mirror Mage though? Um, we need Gorgeous, I think. Or wins. What are we going for? I think we go Gorgeous, right? And then we're Gorgeous. We go into Lancia. I think. Wait, can I summon anything else? Not really. Nope, go speaker. Okay. So I'm going to special summon speaker now. 4, 8, 10. Oh, we're going to use Hexar to make Lancia, right? Gorgeous is already used. I thought we were going to use Lancia for. Ooh. Baron? Or Lancia? Trishula zero. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> nice. I need to realize. Are we getting rid of Revealer or are we getting rid of Speaker? Because I think we have to do this. I just want to play this efficiently so I learn as well. That's why I keep asking. Um, I feel like we go Speaker. Because we might use... It doesn't matter, but we might use a Revealer next turn. I guess. Yeah, get rid of his fucking cards. Get out of here. Fucking okay, you, you, and you. Bye. Have a nice day. Stupid ass. Okay, now... If I go Anemone, I have to get rid of... Trishula, no? Oh shit, I should have played Trishula Zero Dragon in another slot. Okay. I get what you're going to do up until the point. Mirror Mage effect on enemy go for Coral Dragon. Yep. And then we're going to use Speaker to get the other, what's his face, token. And then we're going to go Coco Draw, I'm guessing, to draw more cards, right? For extenders. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And then Speaker effect and go Normal Trishula. Oh, we're going Normal Trishula. Okay. So we're not drawing cards. Oh, okay. I see, because we're going to get rid of the card in his hand, right?
<laughs> well, he's gonna rage quit if we do that. <laughs> I love the way you're like, yeah, this is an OTK because he's gonna rage quit. Yep, get rid of that. Okay. Battle phase, I guess, because we have nothing else to do. Direct attack. Main phase two. I guess we just uh, set imperm and then end phase. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna draw and then he's gonna be like, fuck this shit. And then he's gonna, yep. Yeah, he's gonna, and let's see. There is no way that one card lets him pop off. Oh, he's not, he's not surrendering. He's like, oh, I'm gonna stay a bit while, a, a while longer. General Raiho. Would have been nice if I was able to summon you without tributing. Um, we just attack, right? And carry on. Until he dies. If he plays anything, we imperm it. And if he can't play anything by next turn, it's over. Let's see. Yep, GG. I ain't even gonna play anything else. Winds of the Ice Barrier, that wouldn't have helped anyway. Nice! Oh, nah, okay. Nice. You see, there's. I need to save these replays so I can see what I did to learn from it because I wouldn't have been able to do that myself.